Hi, this is Jack Stanley, and you know, sometimes interesting things happen that spring your memory alive as to things that have happened in your past. Um, I was looking at something on um, Facebook, and they were talking about a song called The World is Waiting for the Sunrise. And suddenly, memory started flushing into my mind, because I remembered that that song, one of its authors, was Jean Lockhart. And Jean Lockhart was the father of June Lockhart, the actress. And of course he was an actor as well. And the thing is that's kind of fascinating is the fact that she told me that that was a song that was a big favorite of hers. And that also she considered herself one of Edison's later experiments. And I, I asked her, I said, what do you mean by that? She said, well, Edison introduced my mother and father. So she said, I consider myself one of the later experiments of Thomas Edison. Now, of course, June Lockhart was a wonderful actress, did lots of movies, television. Who can forget Lassie? Of course, who can forget Lost in Space? And uh, while we were making recordings on wax, by the way, at the Santa Monica uh, Museum, which had a lot of stuff at the time about Lawrence Welk and a few others, um, we made recordings. And I told her that the byproduct of a wax recording, the stuff that flies off, is called swarf. And <laughs> it's kind of uh, space sounding, isn't it? This is a swarf alert, or whatever it may be. I remember Isaac Stern had an amazing reaction to swarf, and he said, may the swarf be with you. <laughs> I should talk about him some, too, and I guess I will at one point or another. Um, but the thing is that we made our recordings, we filmed, everything was done, the press came, and we posed for pictures, and then... Uh, we got ready to leave, and we were talking about Jean Lockhart and that song, and Jean Lockhart said, would you walk me to my car? And I said, I'd be delighted. And arm in arm, we walked out singing that song. Dear heart, the world is waiting for the sunrise, you know, etc. And we sang it all the way to her car. And it was a beautiful, wonderful experience, and one that I remember. And just today, someone happened to mention that song, and suddenly the flood of memories. And you know, I, I have experienced an awful lot in my life, and met a lot of people, and had lots of fascinating conversations with inventors, and actors, and presidents, and senators, and newsmen, etc. And a lot of these things I forget a little bit about, but every once in a while somebody mentions something and whammo, something comes into the mind and it starts to remind me. And so today I was reminded of the world is waiting for the sunrise. Uh, at this recording, June Lockhart is a healthy 92 years old, and I wish her many more years. And I thank her for the wonderful time we had making those recordings in the year of 2003. Take care.